Twin system recap for Sunday. Heading over to Detroit, the Twins have a 94% win expectancy at this point. We're picking it up. Caleb Thielbar making his season debut gives up a solo homer to Javi Baez. You know, hey, you can give up solo home runs. It's fine. That's fine. We got this still. Uh, Willie Castro boots one at shortstop. Uh oh, that doesn't feel good. A little dribbler sneaks through. That definitely doesn't feel good. And then Griffin Jacks comes in. Cal Farmer on a potential inning ending double play just olays it. Completely whiffs on it. They don't get a double play. They don't get nothing. Detroit gets a game tied. Spencer Torkelson, I mean, this was a really nice at bat that he worked, but my gosh, this bloop just falls in. Ah, dagger, killer. The Twins lose this game, 4-3. to three. They've up 3 to nothing entering the eighth inning. They lose Bailey Ober, pitch six shutout innings. Great to see him turn the page on that really horrible opening day start of his. Putting that further in the rear view is Bailey Ober. A very clean start here today. Unfortunately, the Twins still lose. Only one extra base hit from the Twins today was a Christian Vasquez home run. Great to see him rewarded for hitting the ball hard. He's been hitting the ball hard all year and really not having much fall in. Uh, but he gets a home run in this one. Not a whole lot of offense. Uh, twins lose, unfortunately. Saints, I was at this game at the best time with my family. Junior Severino hit this home run. A three-run homer to dead center. My son was asking why we didn't have a homer hanky. I felt felt like a failed father at that moment. <laughs> Uh, but man, CHS Field, what a, what a fun place to, to be on a nice sunny day. Uh, Severino's been off to a really slow start. Probably has got a chip on his shoulder since he's overlooked when the Twins are kind of down to very few options. They go to Camargo instead of Severino. Uh, and it's because he's been off to a slow start. So good to see him homer there. They scored a ton of runs. We'll look at that later. Jefferson Morales is like a, a mini Mighty Mouse uh, listed at 5'8". It's a grand slam here for the wind surge. They lose, though. How often do you get a grand slam and lose? Can't be that often. Uh, Emmanuel, no Manuel Rodriguez today. He was not in the lineup. Uh, over to Cedar Rapids, where C.J. Culpepper was making his season debut. So that's great to see. Uh, kind of stayed back a little bit, it sounded like, in spring training. Rejoins the Colonels after they've uh, been up and running a bit. Really didn't miss a turn in the rotation, essentially, even though Andrew Morris has started twice. Um, he has four innings, two hits, one run, one walk, three strikeouts, 52 pitches, I think he topped out at 96, it looked like to me. Uh, Luke Kieschel, who has an LPS over 1,000, oh, by the way, led off this game for the Colonels with a homer that just got above that yellow line there. Uh, so good to see him getting going. And then Jay Harry, big, you know, Colonels down 2-1 to one in the set, bottom of the seventh. Huge situation here. It's a three-run go-ahead homer. So Jay Harry, who's playing shortstop today, twin six-round pick out of Penn State from last year, three-run bomb. We see everybody coming around, everybody fired up. They win 4-2. to two. That, that score held. So huge home run there for Jay Harry. There's the swing once again. Moving on to Fort Myers. Paul Sean Pascalato was pitching. Six strikeouts, no walks in four innings. He topped out at 94.6 miles per hour. Uh, that was the challenge system. That's the whole thing right there. That's it. Okay, incredible how efficient that is. Uh, absolutely love that. Uh, but Paul Sean Pascolato, kind of the knock on him was his command, his control. He did walk a lot of guys in college. Uh, again, did not walk anyone today. He only, only walked two batters in nine innings pitched so far this season. So, um, you know, obviously this is a small sample, but this is a great showing from him early on. And someone who's really intriguing. Um, he, again, kind of a guy who was picked in the 12th round and, and kind of right away there was some speculation that he could be sort of the guy who emerges a la C.J. Culpepper in this class. So pretty excited to see him already showing some shades of that early on here. Uh, those were the starting pitchers. He were the hitting performances. Uh, not, not a ton of offense going on outside of that Saints game. But again, the Saints, I think they scored 13 runs. Uh, so tons of guys just going off. You see there the hitting Diego Castillo had a massive game. Saints win 13-11. Colonels win 4-2, but everybody else loses today. Uh, no system recap tomorrow because it's Monday. There are no minor league games on Monday, so I take Mondays off. Uh, but there will be a Member Monday video for my Kofi members over there. So check that out. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll talk again soon.